Hey, welcome back to the channel, Oss with Gone at 60. Today we are picking back up our series and we're going to be pumping them out quick on my 2001 Ford Mustang Cobra. So this was actually delivery day and man, they had some sweet, sweet cars in here. Uh, Miata, I believe that was a Trans Am. And there is my Cobra Mustang. And initially upon taking delivery of this, especially in this video, this is where I started to notice a lot of issues. And so in today's video, I'm covering pretty much everything that's wrong with my Cobra Mustang. And so as they're pulling this Trans Am out, I just wanted to show it just because it was an awesome car. Uh, some of my neighbors drove by and they're like, dude, that's that's awesome, you got a Trans Am, that's so cool. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy some of this footage of them pulling it out. Uh, this uh, delivery driver was awesome, it was really cool. Uh, most of the drivers that I've worked with um, are just great like they're super cool guys you know they love cars he was definitely talking about this and then uh, you know he said I think this was going to Vegas uh, so yeah he had picked it up on the East Coast bringing it over to Vegas but definitely a cool car and uh, they don't make them like this anymore my dad had one of these I'm not sure the year on this I know probably around early 70s but uh, you gotta love the iconic Trans Am, uh, and uh, anyways, this is a 455, so it's the high output uh, engine, but what's funny about those cars, they still really don't make that much horsepower, uh, I think it's like just barely over 200 horsepower, Miata, great, uh, but here's where I started to notice some challenges with the Cobra Mustang, is he started it up, uh, you know, the guy I bought it from in Ohio, this came, the car came from Ohio, it came from a private party. I'll share some text messages at the end of the video, but this is where I started to notice some issues. The car, they couldn't even pull it out of the trailer. Like, uh, you know, he had to stop and start it multiple times. And I thought, oh, initially, maybe it's him with the clutch, you know, and how, you know, and how he's driving it. You know, it's on an incline. Uh, it's sat. But this is where my heart started to drop because the car would not stay running and he could not get it off of the trailer. I tried several things here, gave it a lot of gas, revved it up, but this is where I started to have telltale signs of some challenges and some issues. So here's just a quick clip of it coming off of the trailer. Yeah. So honestly, they killed it. Probably took four or five times for it to start up. And as it finally kind of comes out here and starts reaching the daylight is when I start being a perfectionist and start noticing things. So immediately in my mind, I'm like, hey, this car, this car doesn't run right. Uh, we're going to have some challenges with it. And But then I thought, okay, well, maybe it was cold. Maybe it's a low on fuel. Maybe they put poor gas in it. You know, maybe it just needs like a tune-up, just some of those things. And so... You know, I was trying to immediately try to make a bad situation like into a positive, but is it just struggled to come off of the trailer. I just was like, man, what have I got myself into? This reminds me of my 3000 GT VR4 that I bought that just had issues. But in, in my mind, I'm like, hey, maybe this is easy to fix. Maybe I can just quickly fix it. Maybe it's not a problem and I can just easily overcome this. So I just want to show you guys this clip just because it was painful for me to watch. It was painful for me to be like, okay, I just bought a car. I didn't go visit this guy in person. I didn't look at the car in person. That is my fault, guys. I ran a car fax and that's it. I should have sent it to a mechanic, should have sent it. I, there's just a lot of this is on me. So as much as I want to blame the owner on this car, um, as much as I want to you know, be frustrated in what I paid for it. This is all on me for not doing my research. Before buying the car, uh, I FaceTimed the guy, he gave me some clips of the car running, all sorts of stuff, but at the end of the day, I can be mad at the owner, yes, for being dishonest with me, because he was, and I'll show some text messages of why he was, but at the end of the day, I can't also be mad because I didn't do my homework in researching it. So here's where it's finally reaching the light of day. You know, immediately I'm starting to notice kind of some things with the paint and that, which I'm like, okay, you know, notice some things with the wheels, um, just just various things, right? Um, and 
I'm like, okay, maybe it's salvageable. You know, I can get it. I can get it running. I can get it fixed. And you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to make the best of a kind of a bad situation, but. Uh, you know, this is this is the car. I changed the spark plugs really quick just to see how the car would run. And this is the car after changing the spark plugs. Um, so you can definitely tell it's not it's not running right. It's not running good. Uh, it's not idling correctly. It's running a little bit rich. It's you know picking up the idle. Then it's kind of stopping. And so I just did a quick tune up on the spark plugs because that in my mind was like, okay, hey, let's just change those really quick. And you'll see in another video, um, essentially, you know, the car, what it's doing, you know, like right there, it's it's smoking, definitely running rich, not not running right, but I definitely will go through a lot of the mechanical things on it. So immediately in my mind, I have an idle issue, maybe a fuel issue, uh, you know, maybe it's something to do you know with a fuel filter maybe it's a fuel pump maybe you know mass airflow sensor but this is what the car does so this was like one of my first drives on it notice what this car does after full acceleration here just immediately starts bucking and I can't get the car over 4,000 RPM other things the owner said oh no rust on this car now this this radiator I think placeholder right here whatever the radiator frame is known to rust it's got a little bit of surface rust in other spots the car came from Ohio but it is 23 years old but I'll show you some text messages here in a minute but just where it's frustrating this is where I'm frustrated this is on the a pillar you can see the rust underneath the a pillar and it's because they never painted it properly when they repainted the roof apparently it was repainted but it was lifted um, you know a little bit of stuff here on the front bumper which honestly I can't complain too much about but you know the guys like no no dents on the car and yeah there's four or five dents here or there um, you can see on the black molding over towards the right where they didn't even tape it off when they spray painted some of it and so it spray painted some of the black molding uh, but these a pillars uh, they, they, they had lifted like this one over here is really bad and that comes from not removing them and just sanding towards them and not spray painting properly down into it. Um, so the, the paint job they did on this car, whoever did it, and this car has been painted probably two or three times terrible. The guy never let me know there was a tear in the front seat. The picture he showed was from the back. I went through all my texts, all through my messages. Never told me that. So we're going to try to repair that. Um, they actually had super glued this A pillar onto the driver's side. And this is what it looks like when I removed it. So. These are several of the things that are wrong with the car, uh, along with the shift boot, um, some things on the interior, but here's what the owner had said. No maintenance, bone stock minus catback system. He didn't even know there was a short throw shifter on it. So, I mean, guys, the owner just, he wasn't honest with me. Um, it's my fault. Paint is excellent. Never been painted. Yeah, car's been painted three times. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to pick up the series. Hope you guys like it. Catch you on the next video.